Eight years ago, Tom Scott made a video about how YouTube's video IDs work, and concluded that basically YouTube won't ever run out of new video IDs. But he said something else in that video. Now, I assume that YouTube checks through a dictionary and doesn't allow any actual words to appear up there, particularly anything rude. That seems like a reasonable assumption to make, but actually, Tom, it turns out they don't do that at all, which became evident when this video popped up in my feed. So that got me wondering, what other rude words can we find in YouTube video IDs? So I did what anyone would do. I checked 1 million different videos for bad words in the video ID. Here's what I found. The goal here is to write a script that finds rude words, but should I try a broad approach where I just look at a ton of YouTube videos, then try to find words within their IDs? Or should I try a more targeted approach where I start from the words I want to find, then generate some possible video IDs from there and check if any actually are real videos? Sadly, to figure this out, we're going to have to do a little bit of math. For starters, let's look at the structure of YouTube video IDs. They're actually pretty simple. They're 11 characters long and contain all letters A through Z, lower and uppercase, as well as the digits 0 through 9, and dash and underscore. That's 64 characters in 11 different positions, which is 64 to the 11th or more than 73 quintillion total possibilities. So that's a huge number. Given that, what are the odds of finding a particular word in a given video ID? Well, it's going to depend on the length of the word. You'll find a lot more of the shorter words like yeet than you'll find long words like hypotenuse. Let's arbitrarily focus on five letter words. I'm gonna be generous here and count a word regardless of the casing. So lowercase g, capital A, lowercase m, e, capital R for gamer would count. Look, I'm not good at math, so I'm sure you number heads out there will cancel me for crimes against mathematics in the comments, but here goes. I think it's easiest to think about this in terms of how many ways we can make a specific word, then divide that number by the total number of possible IDs to calculate the chance of forming that word. Remember, we can use an uppercase or lowercase letter, so we can choose each letter either of two ways, and five letters in a row for a five letter word gives us 32 different ways to get any case and combination of a word. There are 11 total characters in the video ID, and the other characters can be anything. So there are 64 choices in each of these six other slots. This gives us a total of 2 to the 5th times 64 to the 6 ways that any 5 letter word can occur within a YouTube video ID. And it can occur anywhere in the video ID. There are 7 different possibilities where it could fit, so we multiply that initial number by 7. But we're still missing something. For a 5 letter word, we can have it occur twice and still have space for another character in the video ID. What if we have the word multiple times? We don't count those possibilities right now. There are three ways that the word could appear twice, so we need to count those too. In each of these cases, we use 10 of the total 11 slots, giving us 2 to the 10 times 64 options three times. Okay, now we've done all that math, let's multiply it out and we get, okay, more than 15 trillion, which is a big number, but remember, we're dividing that by 73 quintillion, giving us an extremely small chance that any given video ID contains any specific five-letter English word. Looking at this, it makes a lot more sense to start from YouTube videos that we know exist, then check their IDs for words, rather than starting from the word we want and trying to find if any video IDs that could contain that word actually are real videos. This means I don't get to choose which specific rude words I'll find, which is too bad, but it means that if I check enough YouTube videos, I should find some words at least. And of course, this way I get to look for words that aren't only five letters. That makes sense, and this does seem like the obvious approach, but it's good to verify that it's the right way to go before starting. This is going to take multiple days to run, so I want to make sure that I'm doing it the right way. I'm going to check one million unique videos, so how many words should I expect to find? Again, the odds vary by the length of the word. We're virtually guaranteed to find every word that exists up to four letters long. Then we have about a 20% chance of finding any specific five letter word, about a half a percent chance of finding any given six letter word, and a 0.01% chance of finding any specific seven letter word. So let's get to writing a script. The code to get the video IDs is pretty simple. All I need to do is load a page with a video, note down the video ID, then click a random video from the recommended tab and let the algorithm feed me whatever slop it's got queued up. 
rinse and repeat a few hundred thousand times, and we're all done. There's an obvious optimization to make here too. All these links to the recommended videos on the side contain the ID of the videos they point to, right in the HTML for the link. So I can get those too without even having to visit those pages. Depending on how many beautiful single European women are in my area taking up space at the top here, there are about 20 of these links loaded without having to scroll down. So I should have to visit only around 50,000 if every single recommendation is unique. Which it definitely won't be, but this still helps. So that's the script. Just load a bunch of videos, note them all down, and continue. This is kind of an interesting experience to see what the algorithm feeds a brand new YouTube account. I get some really wild stuff. I've never used TikTok, but I imagine that this is what it's like. It does take a bit to load YouTube, wait for the recommended videos to load in, then scrape, process, and store the video IDs. This whole process takes anywhere from 3 to 4 seconds per video from the testing that I did, so this is going to take a while to run. I'll leave this sitting here for a few days and come back then. After about a week of this running off and on, my computer crashed a few times, gotta love Windows, am I right? I've crossed that million video IDs threshold. Now I need to find the rude words in them. To do that, we're just going to have to check every single video ID against every single word. I don't think there's a faster way here. We maybe could do something like using tries to make this process a bit faster, but that would only work if the words we're looking for had to be in a known position in the video ID, like at the start or end, and that's not the case here, so we're just stuck with string comparison. Let's start with the rude words, and then just for fun, we'll take a look at all the words we found, because there's some fun ones here. But like I said, rude words first. So great news, I found several videos with everyone's favorite four letter word in the ID. This one is an explainer of the timeline of the Hunger Games. This one is an explainer about Mad Max Fury Road. This one's about League of Starcraft 2, I think. I'm not really sure what this is, to be honest. I only play real real time strategy games like Pal World. Another one of these is by the Las Vegas Raiders, formerly the Oakland Raiders, pour one out, about their off season training camp. This one is a Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play and is immediately prefixed by Wii U, which I like. This one is something to do with religion. This one is a deconstruction of the song Serious Eye in the Sky. And finally, my favorite because it's in the past tense and also because it appears to be a baseball scouting video in Japanese, which is pretty fun. Moving on to my second favorite rude word. I found plenty of these as well. This one is a WrestleMania vlog. This one appears to be a 12 hour long stream of Chinese folk music, which honestly kind of slaps. This one follows Tiger Woods at the 2008 US Open, and I don't watch golf, but this crowd is going absolutely crazy, which I feel like is unusual for golf, so I guess this was kind of a big deal. This one is a motorcycle review, this one's about War Thunder, and finally, this one is about a guy visiting the grave of a TV host. Apparently he has a whole series like this. Well, how's that for variety? YouTube really does have everything. So, those are a couple of the rude words. I'm not going to go through all of the rest of them because I'm going to look at some of the other results. But if you're interested, I built a site that you can visit to take a look at all of the video IDs I found and search for your favorite words. It's at moonfaceemoji, ubufingersemoji.ws. Yes, that's the real site. No, I will not elaborate. Now, I know a lot of words, but I don't know all the words. So to find all the words in these video IDs, we're going to need a list from somewhere. I grabbed a list from GitHub of the 10,000 most common English words according to an n-gram analysis of Google's trillion word corpus. This is a lot of words, but it isn't every word, and actually it's not even all real words either. These are just the most commonly occurring strings that exist in text on the internet. So there's a bunch of stuff in here like names, acronyms, companies, and to my amusement even some programming words like const, and if, and yes, even JavaScript. Most importantly, there aren't enough rude words in here for my liking doesn't even have crud. So we'll have to find a more complete list of words from somewhere. After a bit of searching, I found out that Unix systems just have a bunch of words on them, living at user share dict words, so I can use those. There are like 100,000 words in here though, and we have to check all of these words against every single video ID. Of course, we can eliminate all the ones that are longer than the 11 letters we can have in a video ID, leaving us with only, holy moly, still 66,000 words. That's a much more comprehensive list, but I've got to check these against a million different video IDs, which is going to take a while. Good thing computers are fast, but even still, it took almost two hours to check these all. Here are the results. The longest words I found were all seven letters long, and there were three of them. 
Vikings, Papyrus, and Looming. Honestly, I have no idea how I got recommended this Papyrus one. It has like 50 views. For Looming, this one is in Korean, so I don't know what it's about, but it's an interview and then this guy plays the guitar, which is kind of interesting. Lastly, Vikings. Super cool word, but whoever uploaded this one has since deleted it, so I don't know what it was about, which is absolutely tragic. I also found a bunch of six letter words. In total, I found more than 27,000 words that were four letters or longer. I'll leave you with this link to a playlist containing a hidden message that I think you might enjoy. Thanks for watching.